Hey everybody, my name is Kira and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing a diesel heater. I got my diesel heater about a month ago. It was negative 45 outside, so I'm going to be telling you my experience, what I loved, what I hated, why you should get one, and what electrical system that you need in order for your system to actually work in your van. So the first thing that we're gonna be going over in this video is our electrical system. Every single detail on what you guys need for this diesel heater to work properly. So this is probably the hardest part of the video because I have to lift up all of my bedding plus my jalapeno cheddar popcorn in order for you to actually see my electrical system. We're also never gonna be doing a video about my mattress situation. Here is our hatch for our electricity. And there is our 90 amp hour battery and it goes all the way to attach to our controller here. Could use a little bit more sun, but that's okay. We're gonna use this crinkly piece of paper to go over our electrical system. Currently, I have 150 watts of solar, one 90 amp hour battery, which gives me a charge time from zero of 16 hours for a total heat time of 10 hours. Now what we need, another solar panel for 300 watts of solar. We need another 90 amp hour battery and a disconnect switch, which is basically a switch that'll get our alternator to charge our back batteries while our vehicle is on. This will give us a charge time of 16 hours, but it will give us 20 hours of heat time, which is quite substantial. Okay. Now we can look at what the diesel heater actually looks like. This is where the hot air comes out from. I put it close to my bed to make sure that I'm gonna be nice and warm during the nighttime. This is where the air comes in from, and this is where it's gonna exit from and go through that tube. I have my electrical coming out the top, and it just goes into my battery in the back right-hand corner. Let's go ahead and turn it on and actually see what our charges are sitting at. Let's quickly go over a few reasons why you should get a diesel heater for your van opposed to anything else. The first reason is that it barely uses any electricity, which is awesome, especially when you have a small space and you don't have that much solar on the top of your van. The second reason is that it heats up my van so fast. The third one is, is it's not that loud. I put earplugs in and I sleep through the whole night and it's perfect. Fourth one, which is probably what you guys want to know the most, is it's so cheap. <laughs> the system was $256 on Amazon. It came within like five days and for three days of using this on full blast, it probably was like $9 of diesel. So here are a few things I don't like about my diesel heater. In negative 45, my battery freezes, which basically means I don't get a sufficient amount of power, so it doesn't really work properly. Second is a lot of the times my solar does not charge properly when it's cloudy outside, so I don't get a sufficient amount of power. The next thing is, is you have to go to the gas station and also get diesel, but, oh, and the sound. It's a little noisy, but it's not bad, but be prepared for that. It's now time to head to Banff and we are actually going to use the diesel heater. It's around negative 21 out there, so we will get the full experience. But first, we need coffee and gas. So let's go. What can I get for you? Thank you. Oh. So after wrapping up a beautiful day in Banff, I went to go park at Emerald Lake, but unfortunately the weather took a turn for the worst. We're really going into survival mode and we are literally parking on the side of the road because I'm not driving anymore. And this is why. <laughs> because when you are driving <laughs> in Canada, the weather can really take a spin for the worst. It's quite sketchy outside. Honestly, maybe even the next rest area. I just found a flat spot to park my van. It's on the side of the road. I'm in my PJs, ready to go to sleep. It's warm in here. That's why I'm in a tank top. My electrical is currently sitting at 12.1, which is really good for a battery that really wasn't that charged. And we are on full blast. This is how I lock my heat in at night. I put a blanket over top of every window. I'll also block the front because a lot of air comes in from there. And then the curtain behind here as well. And if I absolutely need to, when it's like negative 40, I have these tiles that luckily I've never had to use, but you just lay them on your floor and it will insulate your floor as well. 
It's about 3 a.m. and I just went to the bathroom, brought in a lot of cold air, and I'm still in my tank top. So this is where we parked last night. It was way too late for me to show you. But look at these views, they're insane. Our electrical this morning is sitting at 12.1 and 12. So we have a problem, I have lost my hairbrush. here all morning literally it's like 2 p.m <laughs> which is kind of sad but it's time to go out and explore we've done our makeup we've made our coffee we've brushed our teeth and this is the end of our video on how I heat my van and how I can stay here in negative 20. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. I hope it was useful for you or at least kind of showed you a glimpse at what van life is like. Bye!